All electronic tolling goes live on the Mass Pike Friday. 22 News reporter Alessandra Martinez found out tonight how you can and can't use your transponder. How you register your Easy Pass account all matters, and if you do it wrong, you'll end up racking up some fines. Starting Friday, you'll pay Mass Pike tolls through your Easy Pass transponder. If you drive the Pike without one, you'll get a bill in the mail with a surcharge. I don't know, just haven't got around to getting it. <laughs> so when do you plan on getting it? Uh, like tomorrow maybe. Transponders are accepted throughout New England, New York, Pennsylvania, and several other state toll roads across the country. It takes five days to activate a transponder, so if you ordered one this week, it might not scan when Easy Pass goes live Friday night. The Mass DOT says as soon as you do get one of these transponders, you're not allowed to share it with anybody unless the license plates of the cars that you're all switching in between are all registered under the same account. See, these gantries behind me, they take pictures of your license plate and then they match it up to the transponder. And if the two don't match, you'll receive a fine. So you can only use a transponder in a vehicle that you've registered. You can't share with everyone. I think they're probably going to get caught. I think you, they need to have their own and not fight the system. If you plan to use it in a rental car, that vehicle must be added to your account. Leased cars must be added as well, and if you get a violation, it is sent directly to the leasing company. You don't need a separate transponder on a trailer you tow, but the trailer's plate must be registered on your account. Families can add up to four separate transponders on one account. And they also have Easy Pass transponders for motorcycles. Live in Chicopee tonight, Alessandra Martinez, 22 News.